for you all yes I did cut my hair mixed feelings about it to be honest I hope it grows back but yes I do feel extremely awkward looking at the screen right there and seeing that there's no hair around or beard anyway let's get to the lesson so today I want to talk about teen town now teen town not Dean town no offense to Wolfpack or Wolfpack fans but we're going to talk about the real thing, Teen Town. There's plenty of videos breaking it down, note for note. Um, but we're not going to do that. As always, I'm going to talk about a few elements of approaching it that I hear in many covers or many cats playing it completely sidelined. Okay, first and foremost, while the lines are immense and there's a lot happening, it is all grooving. It's all in a groove. It's all in a pocket. And... Every time I hear somebody just play the notes correctly with the right rhythm and that's it. The articulation is out the window and the sound, the tone, the touch and just the vibe of it is gone. So if I take the opening line, the opening line is pretty hard. It's something I still struggle with to be very honest with you. So it's... Okay. So what I'm doing with the right hand is... Right, there's a rake happening with one finger there because this is this alternate. But when I practice this, I try to do it as slow as possible and I try to play every note duration for, um, sorry, I try to play every note for its full duration no chopping up and the reason I did that is because when you speed that up there is some form of fullness to it and there is a punch because the speed naturally brings in the punch but if you avoid trying to play full notes in the beginning straight away you're not going to have this full sound to it because when Jaco plays it it sounds so full and round and yes Joe Zavino is also doubling it live and also on the recording but Jaco's sound alone is extremely full, very warm and very punchy. So it's not just about that punch staccato sound. It's about getting a full complete sound. Okay. So another thing that happens a lot in the song are these, these very subtle hammer-ons. I know some people tend to slide. Nothing wrong with that. Go for the sound. It's it's this this particular line has this, this kind of an arc to it not this not it's that gives it the groove right so again i've said this before sing along with it and try to maintain the clarity of the long notes versus the short notes but when I practice it, I even this section. 
I played everything long and then I, when I speed it up, naturally I heard uh, that and then even the, the bit before now I've also seen this variation but when you listen to Jaco very carefully you don't hear this you hear this because you hear that da -da -da -da. it's very clear and that's not possible if you do it from here because it has a difference of um, roundness because the string choice same pitch but the tonality of it the, the sonic element of it basically try both for me it's definitely the first one that same thing happens here again so that particular section the high notes are the accented notes okay one of the ways i like to think of it is like a drum fill now a lot of great fusion drummers funk r&b gospel cats what they tend to do is they use the snare as a floating device to carry the flow of the 16th notes or the 16th note triplets and then they play accents around the toms cymbals hi-hat and rim shots on the snare but the quiet notes are all played on the snare so those kind of phrases are very audible so and that particular section he actually moves to the neck pickup area it gives this round sound so same thing here so it's like very groove centric very pocket it's extremely funky and i don't know why people forget about that element and they get caught up in just playing the right notes play the right rhythm i can play teen town and everyone tries to play it extremely fast that's the other thing that really pisses me off because the original is pretty mellow the tempo live sure they push it because it's live but just remember the other things your articulation your touch um, the way you feel the phrases and the way it sits with the groove so every time I sit down to play this I've uh, probably played along with the record a couple of times but when I first learned it note for note probably everything's fine I was like okay I'm just gonna play this you know so even that people always tend to that feels a little off if I do one, two, four, right? So to the back, the catch, cut the back, cut the boom, boom, three, four. So learn to understand where it falls in the 16 note grid and don't accent it too heavy because then you start to flip where the downbeat is and that's where people get confused with the rhythmic aspects of Teen Town and many other syncopated kind of lines so like if I'm doing something like um, 
So when you're starting lines on the one E or on the one E, uh, you want to emphasize it, but you don't want to emphasize it to the point where the reference of downbeat flips around and creates confusion for yourself. Okay, so don't don't overemphasize it. Problem area for me. Okay, because I'm doing these shifts with this finger, dun, 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 C, the E, and jump. Now, obviously, there are easier ways to figure out the fingering for this. But I always tend to go with what sounds right to the actual recording. And more than often, for me at least, I find it being a little weird. But I always like weird things. I love being challenged and I just love being pushed. For instance, in the earlier bit, that part, the reason most people choose to slide into the A is because it's easier to handle because this it's not easy to get it clean. Right. Now, um, last thing I want to talk about is the the tempo in which you practice. Okay. Now, when I learned this piece, I took it chunk by chunk. I spent, I believe, a week on just this because I never played that in my life. So until I could play that from here to I was like, okay, now I can move on. Slower. I never sat down with the metronome. I took I took this song piece by piece, played it as slow as possible and as fast as possible, and then the next chunk. And I only did this with this piece, I believe. And naturally, every time I picked up a new tune to learn, I kind of did this, but a sped up version of it, right? So when it comes to the actual tempo, this is what I like to do when I'm learning something tricky, which involves speed, take it as slow as possible and then push it as fast as possible beyond the original, just, just for kick's sake and forget about the metronome and try to play this alone by yourself, not just with the record constantly and just try to focus get a good sound, articulation, good pocket, good groove, and a good touch. All right, so I hope you get something out of this lesson, and um, until the next one, I'll see you guys in the shed. Peace. <laughs>